Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. It was a sunny start to the day, but it's not going to end that way. Lots of clouds out there across the valley. There were the chance of a few passing flurries in our northern counties during the last few hours, but since then we've seen that action move to our north and to the east. Right now, 31 degrees in Lebanon with just a gentle breeze out of the west southwest. There you can see that on the Storm Team Live Radar Network, a few passing snow showers north of Pottsville, but here locally across the valley on live local 8 radar, we are dry. We should stay that way. We do have some breaks in the clouds back off to our west. We may get some breaks in the clouds this evening, but more clouds are due in as this strong storm system bringing heavy rain across the deep south will start lifting to the northwest and expect that rain to start moving in as the storm pushes by to the northwest. But it's a glancing blow for us here in the valley in the form of a brief wintry mix tomorrow morning for our northern viewers. But most of us will stay dry until about this time tomorrow with a few passing showers. So for the rest of the evening, what you see outside right now is what you should get. But there could be some breaks in the clouds at times as temperatures start dropping into the 20s. Lows tonight will be seasonable in the mid to upper 20s with those passing clouds. And then tomorrow, that brief wintry mix will be out there for for our far northern viewers, we're talking closer towards I-80 than the turnpike, then scattered showers will be possible area wide. And look at the temperatures. They're starting to climb. Highs tomorrow will be in the low to mid 40s. Here's a look at the predictor in terms of that freezing rain threat. Notice right along I-80 into the north, the chance for a glaze of ice, but I think that could be as far south as 522. So if you're watching us, Sealands Grove and towards Lewistown, you may see that. So this is why there's a winter weather advisory in effect for Northumberland and Schuylkill counties through the day tomorrow. Made it to 34 today. Average high is 38. So Low, but we made it to 34. We were above freezing and we still have two inches of snow on the ground. So the cold stretch is coming to an end. This is the first time we've been above freezing at the airport since Thursday. This is also the first time where we've had snow on the ground at the airport for an entire week. The last time we did that, the stretch ended back in early 2022, two years and nine days ago. Here's a look at the current temperatures. We're at 29 degrees in effort of 34 currently in Gettysburg. You can see that chill extends all the way down into the Red River Valley, but milder air is starting to be pulled up from the Gulf of Mexico on the eastern side of this incoming storm. So this storm is going to lift by to our north and to the west. The ridge of high pressure keeping this cold air in place is now starting to move off the east coast. So watch what happens here on the predictors. We go through the night tonight passing clouds, but we're staying dry. You see that pink that's freezing rain and also some sleep, but closer towards I-80 than the turnpike. Most of us will be dry, but there could be a few slick spots north of Harrisburg. Then going into tomorrow evening, scattered rain showers will be possible. This will be the case as we head on into Wednesday morning. Looks like Wednesday we could see some drizzle, but then periods of rain as we head through the day, especially during the evening commute and early overnight hours. But notice this warming trend. Into the 50s we go by Thursday, and then a series of days at or above 50 degrees. Temperatures do start dropping back down closer to seasonal averages for early next week. Looks like we'll end the weekend with some passing rain showers and then dry for much of next week with highs returning closer to average back down into the 40s.